So I received an email from a longtime subscriber regarding repentance. Now his problem is he often feels like he's not worthy of coming before the Lord in repentance after he sins because of shame. Now, here's the thing. Okay, we feel that shame. True Christians, we all feel that shame. Okay, we, we messed up. We feel terrible. Okay, if you are a truly regenerate, born-again believer in Christ and you possess the Holy Spirit, you feel absolutely terrible after you've committed that sin. Okay? But that shame is not meant to keep you over in the corner so you can beautify yourself and make yourself presentable so then you can come to the Lord. No, that's not how we as Christians do this. Okay? We immediately run to the Lord with our shame and our guilt and just feeling like crap. We run to the Lord. We bow the knee and we confess our sin. And that confession is agreement. We're agreeing with the Holy Spirit that testifies that you just grieved him. Okay, We're agreeing with the Holy Spirit that what we just did, the sin we just committed, is wicked. It's wrong. We, we agree with the Holy Spirit and then we condemn that sin. And then we pray to the Lord for strength and wisdom. And we get up and we press on. You don't sit there and just wallow in your, your self-pity, okay? Do not think that you can make yourself right and then come to the Lord. You can't make yourself right. You are a sinner, okay? What has been made right was made right on the cross and the blood that was shed covered your sins if you are a true Christian. 1 John 1, 9, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you. Do not wait. Do not sit around on your sin. Run to the Lord, okay? Run to the Lord. And that's the evidence that you are a true Christian. Or let, let me give you an example. We had a street ministry in Peru. They were with street children. During all the civil unrest where people were being killed and bombs blowing up. And one night, we were feeding the children. They were very violent. Many of them very sick and full of sores. And I was taking care of the feet of a little boy. I was cleaning his feet to get the dirt off to expose the sores. And I was doing it for him. And I was doing it for God. And then all of a sudden, someone said, Look there. The TV channel has showed up with cameras. They've come to film us. And all of a sudden, in my heart, there was this, people will see. It was that quick. And it was ugly. Do you see that? It was horrible. Do you see that? But that doesn't mean I should stop washing his feet. I need to repent and just go on. And that's one thing about the Christian life. You see some insincerity, you see hypocrisy. Just drive a knife right through its heart. Call it what it is. It's sin. It's ugly. Repent of it. But keep going on.